Now, we get into this, and this is going a little bit deep, but we start talking about something called mission type orders. And that is different from, let's say, what would be called a directive, where I say, Echo, you're going to move down this street, you're going to take this building, number 27, you're going to set security in there, and you're going to hold that position. Mm. That's different, because now I've told you exactly what to do. I've said, okay, Echo, you're going to move down this street, so I'm telling you which way you're going to go, I'm going to tell you exactly which building you're going to take down. And I'm telling you to set security in there. Mm. Now, what I really want to say is that that means you have to do what I just told you. Right. Because you have no choice. I, I mean, I didn't give you any other options. I told you wh exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. Now, what if I were to say, Echo, we think the enemy's over in this area. We want to be able to hold security on them from an elevated position. Find a building down there and make that happen. Mm. So now you've got all kinds of freedom. You right. might pick 27 because maybe it was the best building, but right. maybe 36 was, or maybe 32 was, maybe 27 was hardened. Maybe it wasn't tall enough, but mm -hmm. you have this organic flexibility in your mind because you've been given a goal of why you're doing the mission, mm. not just what to do. Right. So it's very important when you're dealing with people, you know, in any walk of life that you tell them not just what they're trying to do, what to do but what they're trying to accomplish, what the mission is, why they are doing it. Mm -hmm. And that is incredibly important.